In my last video, I explained why I was making the switch from LastPass to Bitwarden and how to transfer across all your passwords over to Bitwarden. In this video, I'll go through creating your Bitwarden account and how to make it work across all your devices. So let's start at the very beginning by going to bitwarden.com and clicking on Get Started. Enter your email address, a name, and a master password. This password controls access to your Bitwarden account, but also all the passwords held in your vault. So make sure it's long, strong, and memorable. Hit submit and you'll be prompted to re-enter your account credentials once more to access your vault. If you're making the switch from using another password manager, or you previously saved your passwords in a browser, Bitwarden offers several options for importing your existing passwords by clicking on Tools and Import Data. I imported my last pass vault into Bitwarden, which as I say, I demonstrated in my previous video. The next step is to verify your email address by clicking Send Email, run through the normal process, click the link, and re-enter your account details. The easiest way to use Bitwarden on your computer is to add it as a browser extension. In Chrome, you can access your browser extensions either by clicking on the icon in the top right corner of the window, or if you don't see the icon, click on the ellipsis, choose More Tools and Extensions. Open the Chrome Web Store and search for Bitwarden. Click on Add to Chrome, followed by Add Extension. It's a similar process if you're using Edge or Firefox, but Safari users, you'll find your browser extensions in the Mac. App Store. Once installed, I pin the icon and then I log in once more to complete the setup process. We can now access all of our passwords quickly and easily whilst browsing the internet. By default, Bitwarden will ask for the master password each time you open your browser, which will become very tedious, so I recommend creating a pin to use instead. Untick the box so, so that you can use the pin in all instances instead of your password. If you need to access your vault at any time, you can do so by scrolling down and selecting Bitwarden Web Vault. If you prefer, Bitwarden does offer a standalone app for both Windows and Mac, but it works in exactly the same way as the browser extension, which I find more convenient. To use Bitwarden on your mobile or tablet, download the app from the App Store and log in using your same credentials. Bitwarden syncs your account details using push notifications, so you will need to allow notifications. As with the browser extension, I recommend changing a few settings to make your life easier. Click on the settings icon from the menu and enable unlock with Face ID, or you can use a pin if you have an older version of an iPhone or iPad. Click no to the prompt to use the pin rather than the password in all instances. You'll want to turn on password autofill, which allows access to Bitwarden through Safari and your other browser apps. To do this, go to the settings app, scroll down to passwords, choose autofill passwords, and then select Bitwarden from the list. Again, you're prompted to re-enter your master password and you should receive confirmation that autofill is now activated. I also recommend enabling the app extension, which is an alternative way of accessing Bitwarden by clicking on the share button or more button as demonstrated here. You can launch any of the sites you have stored within Bitwarden simply by clicking on the ellipsis and selecting launch. If everything is working correctly, you will be asked to use credentials stored within Bitwarden. And that is how to start using Bitwarden Password Manager on your desktop and iOS. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.